In this video, I am going to show you how to configure the management verb on a pair of Nexus 9000 series switches. When you get a pair of Nexus 9000 or it can be a standalone Nexus 9000, you need to get the management VR configured to have remote access to that switch so you can keep continuing configuring that switch. So let's get the configuration going. This is an ENG lab I am using nexus 9000 series switches these are real images from cisco so it is going to be very similar you are working on a real nexus 9000 chassis the first thing you will get when you boot a nexus 9000 is about power on auto provision yes or no i am going to say yes it will take some time it says it will take 5 to 15 minutes to disable power on auto provisioning but normally this is pretty fast all right so this is done now i'm going to disable this one also i do not want to enforce secure password if you enable that you need to comply with the complex password policy that is a good security practice but for this demo i'm going to disable it i will say no now it is asking me to configure the admin password the admin account is a mandatory account you cannot remove this account this is like a root account in uh, linux you need to configure your password again so now it is asking the last question do you want to enter the basic configuration mode no and i'm going to do the same thing in here too no now both are asking to log in to the switch login is going to be admin the password you just configured so now you are in the privilege mode of the switch so let's look at show int status show int status you see you are getting these login messages i'm going to disable them can't t no login console this will disable the login to your console you don't so you don't get the console messages all the time while you are configuring the switch so let's look at how many verb you have here show vrf so you see there are two verb here that come with the switch one is the default verb other one is the management verb the management connection mgmt0 can be only assigned to the management verb it cannot go to the default verb but all other ports can be on the default verb or if you create another verb for your data connection, you can put those interfaces into those default or newly created verb. So let's assign the IP address to the management interface. So int mgmt0 IP address. If you can see, I have, I have allocated this IP for this switch. Other one is going to be 38 so this switch is going to get 172 16 50 37 and you can define the cider here that's going to be 27 now you issue the command this one now you can see the management interface has an ip address and no shut that will bring up the interface and let's do the same thing in here Int. let me show you how this have been connected now i have connected this management interface directly so they are directly connected normally in a production environment you will connect this management interface to an access switch and you will route that the management vlan 
through your network so you will have remote access now let's look at the routing table of the management wolf you know the wolf is a, a routing domain so it has its own routing table and show routing wolf management you see these are now directly connected local interfaces so let's do the ping because they are directly connected these should be able to ping each other so ping i'm going to ping this switch from this switch you will lose the first ping normally so it is not pinging for some reason show int it is connected show int this is also connected okay so what i didn't do is you need to use the verb as i said this is a different routing domain it has a different routing table so you have to define the verb at the end for the ping to work vrf management okay so now you get the ping you will lose the first ping for the first time you see 20 percent packet loss if you ping again you won't lose any packets you see zero percent packet loss so let's do the same thing from here ping we are going to ping 38 that's the ip address of this switch management you see you didn't lose any packet because this switch already has the mac address of this switch due to the arp cache so as i said before these are directly connected but in a production environment you need to have a different route other than these directly connected mostly you will not be able to connect these switches directly because they might be in a different location so let's add a static route to the verb routing table to do that vrf context management ip route that means any packets that is not directly connected go to the mg mt zero interface and the next half say for example i want to say 10 51 66 1 10 51 66 1 and i'm going to do the same thing in here show routing work management and now you have the static route so this is how you configure your management verb when you get a pair of nexus switch or a standard or nexus switch so you can have remote access to the management interface that is very essential for you to configure a brand new switch into your production environment hope this video is helpful for you if you like the video give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notification for useful networking videos